Hi everyone, today I explain how QuickSort works and uh, implement it so that we can understand one of the most popular sorting algorithms. So QuickSort algorithm takes an unsorted sequence and then sort it out. In this example, we start off by taking the last index as a pivot and uh, divide the unsorted sequence into two parts. So one is a number less than pivot and uh, the other is a number more than pivot. So let's begin. So we take the last index as a pivot. So here and four. And then uh, divide the whole number into two parts. So let's say we find nine. So nine is uh, uh, more than four. So in this case, I put nine this place. And how about one? One is uh, less than four, so I put uh, here. And the same thing, three is a uh, great uh, less than four, so I put here. And eight, I put here, eight here. And the seven, I put here. And uh, two, I put here. So that's the first process. In the second process, actually we apply the same algorithm again. In the first process, we create uh, two parts, and at least these numbers are less than four, and uh, these numbers are more than four. So in the second process, we apply the same algorithm to each part and uh, sort them out. So let's begin. So first of all, let's focus on this part. And uh, I take a uh, last index two here in the less than part, uh, I mean two, as a, a pivot. So I put two here, oops, I put two here. And then, so let's look at the one. So one is uh, less than two. So I put one here and uh, I put three here because uh, three is uh, uh, more than two. And uh, let's uh, focus on this part, more than part. And uh, I took uh, seven as a pivot. So seven here and then look at nine. So nine is uh, more than seven. So I put nine here and then look at the eight. So eight also more than seven. So I put eight here. So at the end of the second process, um, so unsorted, unsorted sequence is like one, two, three, four, seven, nine, eight. In the third process, actually we apply the same algorithm again, but I look at the, this part, one, two, three, four, seven. So they are already sorted. So we only apply the same algorithm only here, nine, eight. So let's sort them out. So I took a eight as a pivot. So eight is here and a nine. So nine is a more than eight. So I put nine here. In the end, one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine. We successfully sorted the list. That is how quick, uh, quick sort works. Okay, so let's talk about the time complexity of a quick sort. So I think you may already know the time complexity of a quick sort. So average case is order of n log n. But uh, in the worst case, uh, sometimes quick sort will be order of n square. So that's it. Um, ne in the next, so we will implement the quick sort with Python. Okay, so let's implement the quick sort. So def quick sort and uh, sequence. Uh, the quick sort take a sequence as an input. And uh, first of all, get the length of sequence. So length equal len and the sequence. And if length is less than or equal one, in that case, just return sequence. If not the case, um, take the last uh, last value as a pivot so pivot equal sequence dot pop and uh, uh, prepare two array so one is a more and the one is a, the other is less and start looping bar in uh, sequence if bar is greater than pivot in that case Add the current value to more list, so more, uh, more append bar. If not the case, add the current value to less list, so append bar. 
after that, um, I repeat the same process. Uh, uh, return quick sort less plus and uh, pivot plus quick sort and more. Yeah, actually, that's it. So let's check. So print quick sort and uh, give um, that's uh, like a random input. Oops. So how about this? Or one more? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so, 1, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 23. So, second list is 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 6, 6, 9, 23. So, two lists are uh, successfully sorted. So, looks good. That is the overview of quick sort algorithm. So, if you have any question, please leave your comment below. I'll see you in the next question.